Yeah, this is Cool Comic Book Basement. I'm Jason Cool, and you must believe I'm as cool as my last name. What I got Venom's got going on here, I got Venom Madness from the Venom Madness issue when he, uh, he started uh, mutating and stuff. And Venom's all like, how do you like me now, Punisher? And Punisher's not scared. He's going to come at him full force no matter what. And so, that's what I got going on over there. That's the two Deadpools watching. Alright, well we got a lot to cover, so uh, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to do a weekly, and first, but before we do a weekly first, uh, oh, don't tell Chris, I have another, this is actually my wheel pick for 2013, is the return of Bebop and Rocksteady after... The no one heard word from them for like over 20 years. So, uh, like I said, when I reviewed it, my, uh, the episode when I reviewed this in, um, I opened this book and it was non stop laughing the whole time. It was just non stop, just really cool stuff happening and this comical relief from Bebop and Rex Steady the whole time. It's great. And also, uh, I'll talk about, you know, I like the Thunderbolts. My 2013 uh, Thunderbolts, I have trouble picking it up, uh, digging it out, but you can go uh, find the episode where I review it. But I just want to talk about my favorite part, and uh, Thunderbolts Annual number one is my 2013 also pick. It's at uh, the very end. Now, this is a really bad spoiler alert. So, and it's at the end of the comic book, so if you don't want to spoil it and you might want to check it out, just go blah, 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 blah for like 20 seconds and it'll be over. So, at the end, and like, um, I, I reviewed on my last one, uh, last time I reviewed it, Thunderbolts are going after Doctor Strange and because he, he's flipping out and it's farther into the future and they're all discussed in that comic book. You know how hard it is to kill Doctor Strange, and so they go after him, and they're standing on top of these stairs. Well, Doctor Strange is on top of these stairs, and there's rubble behind them, and the Thunderbolts on the bottom of the stairs, and he shoots this uh, joy spell at them, and they make them all laugh and bug out, and uh, Punisher's like, "Oh my God!" He rolls his eyes, and he's like, "You gotta be kidding, be kidding me!" And he's standing behind a podium, and he comes out, and he starts working towards uh, Doctor Strange, and he starts walking up stairs through his joy, uh, joy spell that he's casting. And he walks right through it. Doctor Strange is like, "This is impossible," and Punisher sticks the sword off in his face, and he goes, "This is what brings me joy," and he goes, "Bow!" and he blows Doctor Strange away. So I was reading that and I was like, oh yeah! That was pretty hardcore! So that's my favorite Thunderbolts 2013. So now we got the weekly and I'll show you what else I got picked up from the store this uh, visit. So yeah, we got always we got the famous Deadpool, amazing Deadpool, you know. Uh, he's, uh, this is the second issue of him fighting, uh, going against S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, from, he's going against agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Not just, just, not just the team, but just people, I guess, who work for S.H.I.E.L.D. And he, in the beginning of this one, he fights, uh, Agent Patterson's robot version of her. And she serves him in a, uh, in a pizza oven. And there's a joke, like... Oh, this is anchovies, and Patterson's like, "All right, yeah, get us out of here, Deadpool!" And he kicks his way out, and cuts off the head of the robot. And then now there's a ten million dollar uh, bounty on Deadpool's head, so him and another agent go around getting shot out bad guys throughout the whole city, and just getting uh, shot at, and everyone's taking trying to take a look at Deadpool. And an agent who's with him 
is carrying the Patterson's robot head because they want to reboot it and make it do good things, I guess. I don't know. He's got plans for the head. And with his memory in the head that they need. So, it's a pretty, really good, pretty hilarious read. Uh, so go check that one out. I can't wait to see what else what happens. And here we got, uh, this is Frank Miller's cover, but he didn't write it. Uh, this is All-Star Roster Specials, like seven bucks for, uh, so, is this a bunch of little stories? I write a couple, I mean, they're all pretty cute and, you know, uh, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not big on the little stories thing unless they connect. So, it's pretty good read though. And I like this, is a Frank Miller cover, like I said, there's another regular cover. So, you can go check that one out. Um, this is, uh, oh, this is Upside Downy. This is the Cable's X-Force. This is the first part of him. This Cable and the X-Force. And then there's... Um, there's Cable and the X-Force. And then, then there's the Iron County X-Force. Which Bishop leaves that team. And, I, and this is the beginning of... Both their teams are going to fight. And so far, you know... Um, from what I'm getting, I think Bishop's the reason why they're fighting, like always. So, go we'll pick that one up. It's a good read. This is this, the first. This is what I've been telling, talking about. Marvel's do a whole new series, uh, reboot it, do a whole bunch of new series, number ones. And this is the Black Widow number one. And it's pretty good read. It's just her. Going on, you know, shield missions, and this is how this is her getting started. Is the run so not much happening? They just show her. It starts out on one of her missions, or she had to wear a disguise, and then it's just getting started. So not much m more happen, but it's still a pretty good read. So check it out. I'm gonna keep on getting them. I don't usually get, you know, female. Uh, copies, I'm sorry, but uh, I might like watching that. But even though Rocket Girl is my favorite, anyways, this is um, Rover Cop Last Stand by Frank Miller. Uh, this is number six. This is really good. This is him shooting his way through the main bad guy, and I. The next two issues are going to be a really big fight, and they'll put an end to all of this mess. And so he shoots his way through, and him in the beginning is him getting new upgrades and stuff, uh, repairing his stuff. So it's pretty good. So, alright, now we got another first issue. There's one point, point, point one. Uh, so far, all I know is Loki. Loki Loki's up to something. I don't not sure what, but he's always up to something. Um, and then they show, they, you know, Silver Surfer. They all show what all the good guys is. Surf Surfer, uh, Adam, Incredible Hulk, uh, Miss Marvel. I think that's a new version of Miss Marvel. Black Widow, and I forget this sucker's name, but he's supposed to be real powerful, and it is showing, that just tells you what they're doing at the time Loki's up to his scheme, and that's basically what happens, I mean, so they're all cooking up something really good, but right now they're just, you know, it's the first issue, so you can't... Always oh, spank that much out of her sissy sometimes. Alright. This is another uh, looking forward to issue that I was looking forward to. It's Afterlife with Archie. It's the third issue. I talked about the other ones. There's two, there's three covers this uh, week. And I'm back at this. This is the Phantom Variant. A Phantom Variant 
only shows up at certain stores. So you have to go online that week and find out what store has that Phantom variant. So Newcastle is the lucky Phantom variant for this um, for this cover. And on the back, Paul draw, drew the way he likes to draw Betty. That's Judge Betty. And every week I have Paul draw me something, and that's in one of his doodles. And here's the, another cover of the same uh, comic book. Now this comic book, there's not really any zombie e eating. It's just basically uh, all the people who are still alive uh, regrouping and talking it out. And just, you know, it's, it's a good read. But also still kind of slow, but it's going to get really good really fast in the next couple of issues. And there's another third couple, or also you should, um, if you wanted to know, this is Minimum Wage. It's pretty good. Paul gave you his review, so I'm not going to try to outdo him. So we'll let you, you know, listen to what Paul has to say later on. And this is like the next issue of the Kyleism Galactus trying to eat Ultimate Universe. And this one, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Richards, and who's evil in this in universe, goes into our universe and finds out, you know, because they find out it, uh, that they need to go him and Miles. Uh, who's the new Spider-Man? They go over to our uh, world and enter Fantastic Four building, and Evil Richards see what his kids would look like if he didn't become evil, and he gets you know that actually has that touches him, and when they come back, uh, when they come back to the, uh, the Ultimate Universe, he you know let's. He let Susan know that he's sorry. So that's a pretty good read. But I find out more about Galactus and that one also. Now this is also what I picked up. I'm going to try to get some more Amazing Spider-Man like at least once a week. Get one or one or two. This is the series I picked up. This is a six-parter. Now I was supposed to get the first three. But I ended up getting the first one, and then the last, uh, the last two out of the six by mistake. This is Amazing Spider-Man as a team up. Uh, Punisher, Blue, uh, Blue Moon, and Superhawk. Oh yeah, and Superhawk. Oh, and Nova. So it's a pretty good read. I I already know. I don't have to open it to know that it's a good read. But I'll talk about that next week. And not the last not last but not least, I got um uh, Archie for my uh friend Susan who lives in California and is an Archie fan and I'm gonna send her the zombie ones as well because she probably like to read that. So I picked that one up at the store. Alright. Me. Now here in a minute I'm going to go over what's going to happen. Uh, me and Paul always talk about who will win in a fight. Captain America and Batman. And you know. Uh, not, I don't think Batman is unbeatable. And I, I think if he were going to get someone like. He was like Galactus. He would need the Justice League. But I think he can take on Captain America. I'm about to show you why. We gotta take this upstairs for you. Alright, so, like I've been saying, me and Paul have been discussing about Captain America versus Batman. He has no, he's like, no way. Captain America is a super soldier who doesn't get tired. Alright, if you all read a versus book between two heroes, there's more than one round always. So the first round, they meet up in Gotham, Har Gotham Harbor Bay, and uh, Captain America beats the crap out of Batman. So Batman goes home, spends all night uh, licking his rooms, 
and developing a suit that goes against the Super Soldier, just like he did in Dark Knight Returns, breaks a whole bunch of uh, uh, stun guns and uh, bombs, and packs up all his gear, and he goes over and meets with him again for round two, and then Gotham Howard Bay, and I think this is what's going to happen. Play my music. So, alright, so, you hear again, Vax? Yeah, that's right, and you're going to find out why they call me the Dark Knight. And, so, Captain Man comes and is charging him, and he's like, ah! And Batman's just staying in there, and Captain Man throws the shield, and catches the shield, throws it back at him, Captain Man goes, whoa! And Captain America gets stood back up, Batman chucks him into the thing, and then he goes to work on his bread basket. Like this. Uh, 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 uh. Strike balls. Strike balls. Strike balls. And then Batman hits Captain America with the drop kick to the chest. Captain America goes, Pull! And then he gets stood back up and he gets hit by a stun gun. And then Batman throws the grenades, hits him with the grenades, Captain America goes, Oh. And then Batman stands him back up and is like, get up, I ain't done with you. And Captain Man takes a swing. And then Batman tosses the swing. Hits him again in the chest. And then right arm. And then strut pulls. Strut pulls. Strut pulls. And Captain Man goes, Choo! And then stands him back up. Chucks him into another wall. Captain America takes a swing and he dodges that, grabs his arm, grabs him by the arm, pushes him up, throws him up with his might, and hits him with a sticky ball. Captain America goes, <laughs> flies up into the air, and Batman takes the shield and shows it at him, and Captain America goes, goes, Pow! and flies into the air more, but there's a sticky bomb on the shield. Captain America goes, oh, shh, boom! And he flies out of Gotham. And that's exactly what he wanted to do. And Captain America flies into Metropolis. And Superman is like, hey, how's it going? And me and Batman are back from Gotham City like this. Yeah. You better stay out of Gotham City, Cap. Yeah. Yeah, screw you, Captain. Good. And I give Batman a high five. ever again. And that's exactly what Batman just wanted. And that's exactly what's going to happen, Jack. So, back to you, Paul. Alright, so, we'll be back in Newcastle Comics in a minute, and that'll be the end of the show of Newcastle Comics. So, see you at the comic store. Alright, put it down. What? Put, you, put the camera down. The comic book down. Alright. We're at Newcastle Comics, you know, and uh, I just got out of the basement, and I'm going to I'm going to convince this guy that we had this conversation so many times. That Batman can beat Captain America. Now, look, I'm not going to say no. Every Batman is unbeatable, and like people like Galactus and like uh, other god people can't, you know, can beat you know Batman. I'm not saying he can't be beaten. Captain America can beat him too. You know, like, we need a comic book when someone, you know, faces someone, another good guy, and it lasts through the whole comic book, and they go for, or one or, or maybe even three, and they go for more than one round. And we're just going, okay, this is going to be a whole comic book. All right, Captain America, you know, beats him up because he doesn't, you know, Batman doesn't know who he is. And then Batman, Batman goes to the Batcave. Oh, wait, he was supposed to go first. So Captain America would win because he's better trained, he's enhanced. Alright, so we have to start over again because he's supposed to go first. Just cut it in post-production. Okay, three, two, one. Alright, we're at Newcastle Comics and I got out of the basement. And Let's restart because neither of you are looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, three, two, one.
Alright, we're at Newcastle Comics. I met Paul. I wanted to settle the debate. And, uh, God was trying to make me laugh right now. But he's not going to do it. So, we're having a debate. Captain America vs. Batman. Now, I'm not saying Batman can't beat everybody. Like, Thor. Well, he needs help with Thor and Galactus, I guess. But, between Captain America, I think he can, you know... Oh, no comic book, you know, can't, you know, they get one one round, and after the second round, Batman will win. But Paul's going to tell you why that's never going to happen. Cap is better trained, he's got years of experience, he's enhanced. Yeah, he's he got doesn't better have armor. years of experience, he was frozen for, for years. Yeah, but he was trained as a soldier before that. He's, he's old man. He's to kill. No, he's perpetually young. Batman can get old. Yeah. And at the end of the day, Batman fights C-level generic villains. Like, for the most part, you have the Joker, sure, you have Scarecrow, you even have Bane, but all they are are guys with moralistic ambitions. Captain America has fought gods, aliens, entire civilizations, Batman's androids. Batman's fought dogs to each. Cap's fought Ultron, who's made out of undestroyable armor. Oh, uh, wow. Well, Batman and Cap's gone toe to toe with Wolverine. So, Batman Wolverine. Done fought robots like that before? Yeah, but they're DC robots. They're not that strong. Where's your book that says, like, how strong? What is your book? Well, Ultron's made out of an unbreakable steel, adamantium. Even the anti-monitor can easily be beaten with guns. Anti-monitor's not built out of unbreakable steel. Anti-monitor's just an age-old robot. Captain America just survived in an alternate universe that wants to kill him for ten years. Oh, That's thanks for chiming in now, Shadows. Holy <laughs> Shadows? That's not my name. But Batman also is unwilling to use excessive force, whereas Cap very regularly has killed, uh, has decapitated vampires. Well, we're not talking about to the death. Cap, you know, knows Doesn't he's matter. a good That's, guy. Batman would be holding back. Cap would not be holding back. <laughs> he know he would. He would be holding back. Yes, he he he'll hold him to Batman the Batman refuses to kill, therefore he's going to hold back. Cap, on the other hand, is a soldier. Doesn't really care if Batman dies. Yeah, well... A I winter think, soldier. You know, he can't win every round. No, it's not true. And then even if Batman went back to his bad cave to lick his wounds and get some androids and some armor and all that stuff that he loves to get, Steve Rogers would still likely kick his ass. Because Steve has a whole lot of fighting styles underneath his belt, whereas Batman just has a couple. Alright. Here's that again. And here's one of the issues I've been talking about. Marvel's coming out with a whole bunch of new number ones this month, and here's one of them, you know, because they got new creators and new people, and they need, they don't feel like they have uh, enough of our money yet. So, here's one of the new first issues, Avengers World. I guess the Avengers wants you to step in their world and, like, go on an adventure with them. I don't know, I haven't read it. That's one of the comic books I'm not getting. So, alright, there goes the two covers of Detective, uh, there's the regular original cover, and here's the cover done by Stan Lee. That's the one I bought. And here's some more stuff coming out this week. Here you go, fellas. New f two's coming out. Oh, in case you guys don't know, that's Dr. Thomas Wayne, because this is uh, another Dimension Earth. So that's Dr. Thomas Wayne as Batman. And I haven't checked it out yet, but I heard it's super awesome. Also, that's coming out. It's black and white Batman. We're talking about the new Deadpool. Be, you know, that's going to be in my weekly. You know that already. New Devil, Devil's coming out. Two tie-ins of the Galactus eating up Ultimate Universe. There's two issues coming out. There's the main story, and then there's Spider-Man tie-in. Uh, there's another issue. I bought this one. Uh, point one. And there's the issue of one of point one. Yeah, 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 sucker. And there we go. Here's all the covers. Where's the other one at? Let's see. Well, there's two covers of 
the three. I'll show you the third one. But yeah, this this is the Phantom variant. Not about that. Here's a cover I didn't get. The new Black Widow. New Phantom Max. And a whole bunch of other stuff I didn't get, but now you see it on my show. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, there's. No, where did I go? All right. Oh, there's a new issue of Sex Criminals. And the Turtles, classic colored. This is the comic book that came out in the 80s, but then they, but it was black and white. And some people are like, oh, let's add color to it. And we boot it. And then they're all like, okay. So, all right. There's a new issue of SpongeBob coming out, I guess. That's awesome. And someone already picked it up. But it was an issue of uh, Santa's Sons of Anarchy. Which is a good TV show. I haven't read the comic book. But that's also out too. So this is the, the new weekly shelf right here, everybody. And we're going to take a walk up to the stars of my show. Paul and Galvin. Hey, Paul and Galvin. Turn it off. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> what, is, what, what do you think is going to be the new, what do you think is going to be the new uh, favorites out of the new Marvel series? What are you guys looking forward to in the new Marvel series? Avengers Undercover. Okay, Avengers Undercover. What's that going to be about? The Avengers are gonna go undercover. Oh yeah, and they're gonna bust bad bad guys, and they're gonna wear disguises and bust bad guys. They're gonna chop all their actions. And mostly power. All right. Well, Paul just you know let me high and dry. You know they'll help a customer. Oh, you're high and you're dry. <laughs> yeah. So what's your favorite weekly for this week? Is it Archie? Yeah, I knew it. There it is, right on our counter. There it is. Steve, Steve, the owner of Newcastle. You never met him yet, but you will one day. It's the suggestion. All right. So, we're going to go to Zach. And, hey, Paul, what's going to your favorite Marvel number one issue coming out? Either Silver Surfer or She-Hulk. How about Or Winter Soldier. Um, Origin. Oh, Origin, Long March. Origin, Origin 2, Wolf. you're me, you're not excited for Origin 2. I love watching Wolverine fight for Bears. I love Origin. $4.99 an issue. It's a great hey, hey, no, he's not supposed to be there. This is in Canada. That polar bear is not supposed to be there. Yeah, that's uh, dumb. And then, like, Jason, and the releasing. ice caps are melting. The polar bears have invaded Canada. <laughs> Donut entered. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, Obama. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he's just. Like, so, he's literally in his backpack just everywhere he goes. He's like. Like emergency, like stops oh, to his backpack. All right, that's interesting, Zach. So, Zach, what's going to be your favorite weekly for this week? This week, what are we looking forward to? We read. I'm interested in all new X Factor. All right. Okay. All right. That guy. That guy. There's that guy, folks. Wait. All right. What do you think will be your favorite number one issue? I'm uh, I'm banking on She-Hulk. Her and sitting in the lawyer office. Yeah, she looks pretty hot. Let's take a look. Charles Soule's a good uh, good writer. All right. Javier Polito is a talented artist. I'm down. There we go. Here's what he's looking forward to: the new She-Hulk. In case you didn't know, apparently she hulks a lawyer, and that's how. In case you didn't know, if you know who she hulk is. I'm yeah. Saying in case you didn't know, apparently that means you didn't know. I didn't know. I just found out today. Don't tell anybody. You just told everybody. I know. It's just like before. Well, anyways, look how hot oh, she he's looks. Subtle person I know. Man, that is just too hot for school. A couple of those pages stuck together, Jason. <laughs> Not yet. They will be. 
And she's all she's like, she's yeah, fire. I'm going to sue everybody and break this table in half. Boom, boom, yeah. <laughs> that's the new number one and that's the new Wolverine number one that is going to be dumb as hell congratulations Marvel and that's the new the new Warriors coming out was Miles Spider-Man and gang The new Miss Marvel number one coming out. There you go. Yeah. You know. Wait, is Miss Marvel not a blonde chicken no more or what? No. Anyways. And it's the new Punisher number one coming out. Can't wait. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm a big Frank Castle fan. And they're not coming out with the Deadpool number one, so that's what they're shooting them up. I'm looking forward to, you know, since there's no Deadpool number one. All right, let me be back here in a second. And me and Paul are talking up. We're going to talk about Captain America versus Batman, and now I'm going to put Paul in his place. Stay tuned. Newcastle Comics and. An issue that came out, the reason why I'm doing this show, it's uh, basically I know there's a comic book for everybody out there. If they just give it a try, they would know there's a comic book out there. It's not just about superheroes. It's not about uh, just a bunch of bunch of action. There's actually stories that have none of that, but it makes a good story. And uh, Paul here, he's going to tell you about the comic book that came out this week, Minimum Wage. This is like a, uh, some average Joe, but it's still a good story. Yeah, this is a comic about Bob Fingerman. It's semi-autobiographical, and whereas the original series ends with him marrying his now wife, this new series picks up with their divorce, which didn't actually happen. So it's him exploring a lot of the possibilities that could happen to someone like him being single later in his life after marrying <coughs> him. It's really funny. It's well drawn. Bob Fingerman has a very clean line. It's a book worth checking out if you like stuff like Spaced and a lot of the other Simon Pegg milieu things. And it's probably one of the quirkiest and most fun comics you can read. All right. Well, thank you for that, Paul. Yeah, um, if you just go to your co no, uh, closest comic book store, you'll find out, you know, if you have a clerk help you out. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can find something for you to get that you'll like. There's always... They, they do stuff about your favorite TV shows and stuff like that all the time. Uh, so, uh, if you don't believe me, check it out for yourself. So, alright, back in the basement, I'll go over my weekly and we're going to do something. Uh, we're going to do something called uh, Captain America vs. Batman uh, in the basement. So, alright, well, see you there.